Hello everyone, how is it going? It's Vandiru here and today I'm gonna show you a really interesting mechanic between using QSS and the Blast Cone. So, thanks to Canon, my friend that actually showed that to me. It's a pretty interesting thing, so let's get right into it. So, the way you can use it is you can use it the QSS with a spell, with a flash, or with like a channeled ability, whatever you want. You might be wondering, why would you combine a Blast Cone and the QSS? So, the answer is actually pretty simple. So, basically, once you get hit by the Blast Cone, you get knocked up. And you cannot really do anything during that time. But if you use the QSS, you can use your flash or ability right after that. So as you can see right now, so basically someone attacks the plant or you attack the plant, you get knocked up and you QSS right after that. And then you are able to flash or follow with the ability right after that. You can see you can actually do that significantly faster and therefore possibly save your life or juke an enemy. So you can also use it with an item like in the Zonia in, the, in this example. Normally I would need to wait to land on the ground to use my Zonia, but here I can do it so much faster, so that's a good thing. So that was that was an example with the flash. Here you can see that with a blink. Here is an example of Ezreal blink. So even without getting on the other side of the wall, I can already like QSS it like midway and then get jump right back into it. So much faster and cover the distance I normally wouldn't be able to because if I get knocked back right here, I cannot really reach that spot with my ear anymore. But if I QSS that, I am somewhat above the wall at this moment. And therefore I can use my blink to the location, as you can see in this example. So you can either use it to, you know, juke the enemy and go back after using the blast cone. Or just try to run away faster. You can see it in this example. So I don't need to wait on the ground. I can save probably like extra half a second or maybe a second this way. Ezreal E is a really good example because it's a almost an instant spell. So you can do it really fast and you can move after it super quickly. And therefore you can see a nice effect with this. But you can do that with many other abilities. And here is actually another really, really interesting thing to use. It works kind of like with a flash. So basically you get knocked up by the blast cone, you QSS and then you use your channeled ability. And basically what it does is that you channel your ability not from the place you landed in, but a little bit closer to the blast cone plant. So that's actually really interesting. Maybe you can come up with some really nice jokes this way or like surprise an enemy with a with an unexpected ult because normally you don't really expect that. Here I'm adding some dummies so you can actually see that it's not only the visual aspect, but you can also see that the damage actually goes where this ult goes. So it's really cool to see and there are probably many other abilities like for example Ash ult or Jinx ult that you can try that with. I'm really looking forward to that. Maybe you can come up with some other great stuff. Some of you may be wondering if it's actually possible to do that also with the plants. I tried it, but you cannot really do it. You can kind of fall down faster and neglect some of the CC that you get from the knockup, but you cannot use the ability like you can use with the QSS or... So here is another example, another channel ability, Zeraf Q. You can see I'm actually firing it from a different location than I am at the time of landing. Here is a really interesting one, the original one that a friend had showed me, which was Sion Alt. So basically what you can do is that you get knocked up, and then use, use QSS and you can follow up with a, your Scion ult really fast. So it's pretty nice I must say. Maybe you can use it like a way to escape. Like imagine you get knocked up and someone else get no gets knocked up. So you can possibly QSS and channel your ult without hitting him. That's what I think is possible to do. But it's certainly worth trying that. There might be a lot of interesting abilities you can try to chain that with or use with. But I would say that's mostly for people like AD carries, like Ezreal, like Jin, something like that, that QSS is the item that they actually can consider buying. You don't really buy QSS on mages too much, really occasionally, apart from like pro games. And then you rarely buy it on tanks, unless you like face Trundle or something. So there are certainly some options here. You can also see the Zeraf ult. You can see that I can actually start shooting way faster with the QSS done without it, so I can save a bit of time and 
who knows maybe that's gonna be somewhat useful for one of you guys out there so hope you guys enjoyed if you did then maybe like the video if you didn't then feel free to dislike the video thanks a lot for watching hope you enjoyed guys take care have a great day see you guys